Hi folks, I'm from HighlandAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got a new ROM for you guys for your Note 4. This is the Beanstalk ROM. Um, now, this ROM is based on the latest Android 5.0.2 Lollipop sources. It's not a TouchWiz ROM. Uh, if you you know need to use the TouchWiz features, uh, this is definitely not the ROM for you. Um, you can try Bobcat ROM instead. Uh, for example, maybe you use your Gear VR often. Uh, you have a S View case or an LED case like I do here. Uh, the LED doesn't work anymore. So, uh, for those of you who need to use those features, you may want to stay away. Or what you can do is go ahead and make a backup ROM, install the ROM, try it out, uh, and then revert back if you need the TouchWiz features. So, let's get into the ROM here. This is actually made for T-Mobile or Canadian Note 4. Uh, but I've edited the uh, file so you can actually install it on 910F. I haven't tested it, but uh, they should actually work just fine. Um, so if you have the International 910F uh, or any of the Qualcomm-based models, you should be fine. So just go ahead and test it, um, and it, it should work fine. At the worst, it, it might just, you know, boo-loo. But uh, it, it should be fully compatible uh, for all AOSP ROMs, so definitely just try it out. Um, and uh, let me go ahead and go into some of this stuff here. Uh, this ROM is super fast out of the box. You don't have to do anything. And uh, if you go into settings here, um, you'll find a bunch of extra menus like Super SU built in, performance, uh, developer options, and of course the coolest part about this ROM is the Beanstalk options. Um, let me kind of go through some of the stuff you can do. If you go into interface, you can enable gesture anywhere. Uh, this is really cool. You can go ahead and add a gesture. Uh, for example, you want to gesture to the camera. Um, you can do a C here. All right, and hit the back button. And also, this is where you can trigger it. So I'm going to make it kind of big here. And there we go. If you you can just kind of trigger it, and then type C, and this will take you straight to your camera. Um, so that's what it is. And also, your center home button now is a recent button now. And of course, app circle bar, which is one of my favorites. This is also really cool. And uh, you can go ahead and add your favorite apps, browser, calculator, uh, whatever you want to add. And this one also you can go ahead and browse through. A really nice way of doing shortcuts. Now make sure you adjust the height so it doesn't uh, appear when you're using the keyboard. Same thing with all these other ones. Pi controls, of course, um, same thing with the Pi controls. Uh, you'll be able to trigger from the right or left or the bottom. And if you go from the center here, you'll be able to access your shortcuts. Really cool stuff. Um, you can go ahead and customize all your buttons here, your favorite shortcuts, uh, second layer, all that good stuff. I do have a tutorial on that. Uh, it's based on the LMT, which is pretty much the same thing as that one. Um, so check that out. LCD density changer, if you want to change the density, uh, you can do that here. So that's a lot of stuff just out of the box. Status bar, you can also uh, change the alignment of the clock. I like it center, and you can also show uh, the date, which is nice. And let's go back here. Actually, let me go ahead and adjust the camera a little bit. I think it's getting, oh, there we go. Um, also display, uh, you can get custom system animations, I'll change the boot animations. Uh, for sound, uh, you can go ahead and install Viper for Android. All right, make sure you install it, reboot, and I love it. I have a full tutorial guide on that too. If you haven't checked that out, check that out also. Uh, ad blocker. Um, yeah, so that's a ton of stuff on top of the uh, regular AOSP. And of course, this ROM uh, was one of my favorite ROMs uh, with KitKat on many different phones. Now it's finally available for no, no, the Note 4. Ugh. Anyway, definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. Again, this one is not recommended um, if you need TouchWiz features. I actually need TouchWiz features for like Gear VR, but the good thing is I have a bunch of uh, Note 4s, which is good. And also, one more note for video recording. 4K is now supported in all AOSP ROMs, starting with Lollipap. Lollipap. And also, it is supported uh, micro SD card XFAT is supported, which means you don't have to do anything. You just uh, install this ROM. You'll be able to use your SD card just fine. And I'll show you that here. I've got my 64 gigabyte uh, recognized just fine. 
So you won't have those problems that you had with KitKat. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. If you have a note for, again, you know, your, your f stuff will not work, uh, but looking very good. And uh, that's my new fly grip, by the way. I'll show a review on that soon. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, have a great day.